how does the screen capture or the screen recording functionality work in VSDC? Hello, welcome back to Autech. This is where we help you get your tech right. Sometimes as a creator or as just a video editor, if you're just trying to edit your video, you may need to record your screen. There are very many applications that uh, do that, but then some of them have restrictions like uh, for instance, Bandicam, you have the um, application watermark appearing on your video when you, after you have recorded your screen, and uh, sometimes you may not want to have that. There are other uh, screen recording applications like um, Active Presenter and um, uh, what do we call the other one? OBS Studio, but some of these have restrictions, and um, sometimes you may just have a few number of days as your trial after which you are required to upgrade. The video or screen capture uh, functionality in VSDC allows you uh, record a screen of what you're doing and share it in your video or send it to someone else. So just let's uh, get into a VSDC free video editor and see how this uh, screen recording functionality works and how you can uh, use it. So once we are in the dashboard using this uh, VSDC screen capture functionality is not a very tough task. So um, among these um, options that you have here to start a project where you have blank projects to like show import content, video capture and uh, screen capture, we choose this so that we can capture the whole, uh, either the whole screen or a section of our screen. So that I click on these here we have a few settings to make here so in the first section we have the uh, result video format or the end video format the, the kind of video that you're going to have at the end so we have this uh, specification here which is just um, the video type and maybe the frame rates frames per second so the recommended format has been chosen for you which is um, MPEG-4 with the 15 frames per second and the audio format is mp3 uh, 16 bit and all that so if you intend to change this or you have a specific type of um, video that you would like to uh, maybe uh, create you will just click on a, a custom and um, create your own so you just um, choose the type of video that you want from there uh, the destination path that is just the location where your video will go to once it is recorded so you can um, leave it as it is or you can browse a uh, location within one of the drives in your PC and use it to um, change the location if you have created a specific folder where you want your recorded uh, screen video to go to and uh, hotkeys we have this uh, pause and resume keys uh, where you can pause your video, change something, change the screen if you're using two screens like I do uh, and then continue and then you have a shift plus F5 which will uh, end the recording for you. Under video and audio resources we have a um, video source already pre-selected as screen recording. Um, monitor number now this only shows if you have two monitors or if you're using two monitors and that's where you can select which monitor you want to record depending on how many are connected on your um, uh, computer your laptop or desktop then um, you also have uh, the options to select or deselect screen recording with cursor or use overlays so this is just uh, some editing features here and there if you want to make your screen recording uh, maybe better or have a few more features and not just playing. Under audio settings, um, you can always set whether to capture or not capture your audio by clicking on this. Uh, you can say do not record audio or you choose a microphone connected to your PC or an, a built-in one. So in this case, if I want to record audio, just take microphone high definition, which is a built-in microphone within my laptop. Then um, audio volume, you can do a few settings down here, play around with it just to get what uh, suits your uh, requirements.
Now, once we are done with these settings, we'll click on uh, start recording. And it does not start recording immediately until you click on this. So since uh, the uh, screen recording section of the margins within this part of the screen that will be selected have already been highlighted, you can see if with these lines here, shows you that it's going to record everything within that section. So if I tap this, um, suppose to change, or if I just go to settings, it will take me back to where I was. So I just click on start recording again. Then now if I want to start recording this, I will just tap this here. Then now you'll see the this recording screen will be shown somewhere down here. Now if I don't want this to appear on my screen, I'll drag it down here to hide it just a little bit or if I have another a second screen I'll move it to that second screen over there so that the section of my screen that I want to capture does not have a lot of these things here and um, on this you have um, some things that you can uh, do you can start drawing you can add a few things here and there now if you want to post this you said you can press F5 or um, just click on this to pause then you can resume that is if you uh, want to just pause it or maybe you, you're doing something that you don't want to be displayed on your within your screen recorded video now if i want to stop this I just click on stop then uh, i'm told the video recording has been completed in my a screen here now if I click on OK and um, close this remember I had selected the video to be at uh, the position of the video uh, to be um, on the desktop that's why it was supposed to be saved so if I come here this is the one that I have created right now if I just uh, right click on it and say play with the uh, my media player which is VLC you'll see what happens the section of the screen that has then been now recorded you see the this is recorded now you see this is um, how the screen now, has been recorded now you should note that screen, um, this does not have any watermarks on it unlike other screen or recorders have that have screen certain restrictions you, you, you have um, yeah, so that maybe trial days you're given 14 30 days to try it and then upgrade or so you can have it and, um, free uh, but um, on this you have, have watermark um, some things that you can maybe displayed somewhere within the video or the other thing that the other screen recorders uh, might now, maybe have is having a limit as to the number of minutes that you can record or the um File size, you can be told you can only record screens up to for 50 GB or something of that sort. But within VSDC, you don't have such a restriction, you can record as very long videos as just um, as long as you prefer. So that's just what happens when you're using the VSDC screen recorder, and that's just how you use it to. Uh, capture sections of your screen or the whole screen as uh, per your settings or requirements so thank you for being a uh, part of this if you think this was helpful just um, hit the subscribe button and um, uh, like it and share it with the friends and anyone you think it could help so thank you for uh, watching and see you in the next one